This is Tim with Swing Catalyst, and in this video, I want to explain the differences between a USB camera and a giggy or network camera. The difference between the two, there are quite a few things even regards to the computers. So let's start with the USB camera. The USB camera is great outdoors because it has a lot of light. It's great from going from in to out, which we call garage bay studio. And also, in some cases, if you have good lighting, uh, it also works indoors. But we do recommend this camera for more of a in to out or outside. Another item about the USB camera is the bandwidth for this camera. Now, the camera, if you're looking to work with it through a laptop, it, it, you can have success with it. You would connect the USB cable into the 3.0 part, if it's a 3.0 cable, into the 3.0 part onto the laptop and you'll have great success. The issue comes in a couple of different things. If you're adding a second camera on a laptop, again into the USB 3.0 port for a 3.0 camera, you will in most cases, in almost all cases, even with the highest end gaming laptop, you would have to reduce the frames per second. Again, it's a lot of bandwidth coming in on the laptop. The laptops cannot handle it. Our software can handle it. But again, this is something where you may have to reduce the frame rates, let's say from 200 frames per second down to 100 or possibly even less. So if you are considering a USB camera to work on a laptop, do consider the kind of limitations when adding a second uh, camera. Do also consider that the cable itself. The cable itself allows obviously the video and power through the cable. We recommend that this cable should not extend more than 15 feet. This is why we sell USB cables with 15 feet. It again provides a solid signal and support of the camera to the computer at the 15 feet maximum. You can have shorter lengths but we don't recommend having cables longer than 15 feet because it reduces the stability. There's some support issues and connectivity issues mainly. Now some say, well, I'll just add an active repeater to it. You can definitely do it, it will work, but do note that, again, because you're repeating the signal, there may be some issues in regards to connectivity, syncing issues with the other camera. So do note that it is possible, but there are some kind of concerns with it going longer than 15 feet. So again, USB cables within 15 feet, Generally, outdoors where you have a little bit more lighting, you can have success with a laptop. Now let's move with the USB over to a PC. Again, you can connect the cable itself to the motherboard, the ports on the motherboard, and again, you will have success, but we cannot test all PCs or personal computers. So do note that there might be some limitations in regards to the frame rates when connecting to the motherboard. So we do recommend that if you have a personal computer with a PCIe X1 slot. It's an actual port in the computer itself. I have another video on that, but we recommend that you would buy a controller card. A controller card looks like this. It's a dual port controller card, a 3.0 card that actually goes into, there's the port, the connection itself into the PCIe X1. That goes into the PC, and then that way you have the connection here that which would go from the PC via the cable directly into the camera. You have again a little bit more success, more stable going with the uh, correct um, card with the same camera. You'll have much more uh, stable system at that point. And again, as long as you are within the 15 feet. So if you're looking at a system where lengths are longer than 15 feet, or you're looking for more than two cameras, I would suggest going with the network camera. Let me put this one aside. The network camera is, a, again, a great option if you're working from one to four cameras. It's great indoors because it's a little bit uh, less sensitive or, or better low lighting conditions. It runs off of a, which is a standard Cat6 Ethernet cable, has the RJ45. So it's an easy connection. And if you're working off of a laptop, again, it will work, but the laptops do consider that it only has one port on the laptop. So you can connect it, and with that, it would also need power with the laptop. So do purchase a power supply 
and you can run a one camera system off of a laptop with the network camera. If you're looking to run multiple cameras, two, off of a laptop, what you would then need is a switch. So this is what a switch looks like. There's multiple ports here for the ethernet connection. Each connection can go to each camera. It will run multiple cameras, two cameras simultaneously because the, all the bandwidth is, or um, all the information is going through the cables. Uh, this is a PoE switch, meaning that power over ethernet. So this switch provides the power and the video through the cable. So you do not need the power supply. So again, this will work, but do note that all the information coming from the computer goes here, and there's only one cable going out into the laptop, and it will bot what we call bottleneck. And what happens is that even though you have, let's say 200 frames per second on the camera, the only the information coming out might be half of that. So you might get 100 frames per second or, or 70 frames per second. We really cannot test every laptop nor every switch, but do note that you can definitely run multiple network cameras on a laptop using a switch, but do consider that the frame rates most likely will have to be reduced. Then we can actually move into the PC, which is the most popular um, combination. So here we have a PC. Uh, we do recommend that um, you look for the PCIe X1 slots. If you have multiple of them, that is great. I'll tell you why here in a moment. But on a PC, just like the laptop, you only have one port. So if you do not have these PCIe X1 slots, it is possible again to connect the switch onto the PC. But again, the performance or the you know, frame rates that you're looking to get, you may not get. So do consider that um, if you're adding a switch again to a PC. We recommend that you would add the network card. This is a network card. You can connect the camera right to the card. If you would like, uh, it comes with a, uh, an adapter which provides the power. So this actually connects. Again, I have a video on that of how you connect this card to provide the power for PoE so you can have the power in the video feed over, um, over the computer to the camera. So this can be inserted. And again, you can have up to four cameras running simultaneously using the network card. So again, this uh, network card or this network camera is great for indoors. It's great for multiple cameras. It's great for cable distances more than from one feet to 100 feet. Uh, so if you have a room where you're looking to have a, a left camera, right camera, down the line camera, above camera, definitely look into or purchase this network camera over the USB. You'll be much happier with it. I hope I've provided all the information. Reach out to us, contact at swingcatalyst.com. If you have any questions, we'd be happy to have you using Swing Kettle soon. Thank you very much.